Welcome back everybody. With the release of TBC version 530, we have introduced the CAD command line. With the use of the CAD command line, our CAD workflows can be sped up significantly. In this video, we'll go through how to use the command line and show off line string command and the create point command. To begin, there are two ways we can launch the command line. We can either press F2 on our keyboard or select the command line at the bottom of the pane here. Once we're in the command line, we can see all the available commands by pressing the question mark on our keyboard. Here, we can see all the keyboard shortcuts for each command as well. If you do not have the keyboard shortcuts memorized, that is no problem, as we can type the words associated with that command and all the commands that are associated with that word will appear. If you wanted to exit the command at any time, simply press the escape key and you will be back in the dialog asking for a command. Now, we can jump into the create line string command by typing in L. Here, we can either press on the options to turn them on or off or simply type in the highlighted letter in each option to toggle between the options. When applicable, we have the option to choose the layer, the color, and the line style of the objects we are creating right here. I'm going to draw a line string representing this curve, and I will begin by specifying the start point. Since I had auto advanced elevation turned off, the command asks us to verify the elevation, and if you're unsatisfied, type in the desired elevation, but if you are satisfied, simply press enter to move forward. After you specify your starting point, we have the option of choosing between a line or an arc. If you want to create a line, we have the options to choose either a straight segment or define a segment by a deflection angle. When we choose the arc segment, we have the option to create segments defined by either an arc, a tangent arc, a smooth curve, a best fit arc, or a point of intersection arc. And once we're done creating our line string, we can either close the line or press escape to close the command without closing the line. Rather than simply picking points in our views, we also have the option to use various coordinate pickers to quickly calculate 3D coordinates. Our options are define an angle and a distance, a bearing and a distance, the latitude and the longitude, the northing and easting, point IDs, defining a station and the offset, and lastly, defining the azimuth and the distance. Here, I will create a line string using the bearing distance coordinate picker to define a plat of this building. First, define the quadrant. And then, we can either manually type in our angles and distances, or select these in our views. Now, to create a point, we can type in PO to launch the command. We can enter in our point ID, and if you have a feature code library imported into our project, we can go ahead and type in the feature code for the point as well. I will type in BT for broadleaf tree and hit enter. Here, we have the ability to select the coordinate type, either grid, local, or global, the point quality, as in control, survey, mapping, and unknown, as well as the computation status. We can either manually type in the easting and northing or simply select the point of insertion in our view. As you can see, the point along with the feature code has been created. This is only a snippet of the capabilities that the CAD command line offers. We implore you to try this brand new feature and drastically speed up your workflows. Check out our other videos and see you next time.